Fresh. What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. I'm not sure, but uh, we're live and everyone can see you right now. Just so you know. So, ladies and gentlemen, the rock! Give me a hell yeah! Welcome back to the show. Uh, tell me, tell me what's been going on. Uh, what's 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 been new? I know that lies dropped, but uh, uh, tell me what's up. Yeah. Oh God, where do I even begin? Uh, well, we lost a member, um, so it's uh, solo now. Um, we've been I've been auditioning quite a few people. Very perspective, like like holy hell. Some of the people that I've been auditioning are talented as fuck. Um, working on the six or eight now, eight songs <laughs> that are all like, uh, themed and things like that. Something that, um, is kind of a curveball that is out of the left field and shit like that. Um, a lot of music, a lot of like, um, currently temporary and not temporary, but I mean, it's I've got a whole new setup going on new desk, new everything. Yeah, just, you know. Would you say when you, would you say eight new songs themed? Can you are you allowed to tell us anything about what you mean by that? Like what kind of themes? Yeah, I can I can go a little bit into it. Um they all tell a story like kind of like a relationship uh from like beginning like teenager, you know, high school bullshit, blah blah blah, all the way up to like troubles like things like that and then stuff like that but it's what do you get if you mix dolly parton bonnie tyler madonna lady gaga and britney spears okay so it's like an all-star female lineup on that one yeah uh we are rocking the fuck out of some of these songs and um we're working with, since I don't have my guitarist and bassist um, anymore, you know, he's moving on to bigger, brighter things. Happy for him. Yeah, um, I'm working with people from, I am not going to be able to pronounce this name, um, Acetaminophen. I don't know. I call them Acetaminophen. Um, I, I know who I'm that is. With, I know who that is. Yeah. So I'm working with Mark. I'm working with uh, Mojo. I'm working <laughs> You name it, I'm working. It is a huge, massive collaboration that's going on right now. Um, all going at the same time. We're not just doing one song at a time. It's all songs are being worked on right now. Simultaneously. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've got a couple of different um, producers that are going to be mixing these as well. Um, a lot of record. Oh, God a lot of recording um and a lot of like i've already said the artists that we're covering um and y'all i'm gonna guess the songs that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> it's gonna be a what the fuck <laughs> kind of situation whenever y'all hear them it's either you like it or you don't but you know it's cool. I'm doing my thing how did how did yeah. lies come about Ooh, lies so okay yeah, I'm a huge Evanescence fan, nerd, whatever. Um, Lies has been my number one, like, kind of all-time favorite song of all time. Um, did I say all time? And uh, <laughs> so it's got everything that I, I love in a song all smashed into one. And I kind of wanted to pay some homage to that. Um so I kind of wanted to modernize it. It's kind of a song that no one's really ever heard of, unless you're like a diehard Evanescence fan. And um, I kind of want to do a twist on it. You know, it's it, it's one of those songs, especially like with me, because I have bipolar. Um, like if you listen to the lyrics and it's about like this battle that's going on inside of your mind and of like, you know, you're never good enough. You're never going to be 
blah, 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 like kind of having that, you know, angel, devil on your shoulder. One, preaching positivity. The other one, preaching negativity. And um, that's what came about for that is I really wanted to showcase that element, that side, and bring a song that I cherish and love and to the modern times um god that was a lot of fun to do that was so much fun especially the music video uh mojo did such a fucking fantastic job bringing that um asherian kind of style into it um the madness that's going on and all that fun stuff yeah did you did you want to do redemption trivia today or or no uh, actually, yeah. Um, I gotta find my hot sauce. <laughs> let me let me look up a topic while you grab it. But what what are we doing with this topic? Uh, we are actually gonna do Star Trek Next Generation. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. Yep. Star Trek Next Generation. Got it. Ooh. There it is. Go this one it says tough. Johnny Coldheart, thank you for the follow. Thank you for reminding me. I got right. this uh, new hot sauce, Cholula chili garlic. Oh, this is a shit. I put it on everything. Cholula uh, chili garlic? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, this stuff right here. I had to put it closer. But yeah, it's this chili garlic. It's, oh. I never had that one, actually. Uh, you got to get it. All right, it's this flour. this trivia is going to be extremely difficult, I think. Let me grab my hot sauce just in case. Fuck. Uh, Fuck. I'll go ghostly, ghostly garlic because uh, we, we're garlic friends now. First trivia Sweet. question. Star Trek, Star Trek uh, The Next Generation. <laughs> What type of animal was Guinan's imaginary friend? I think I'm saying that art is that is that the right name of that artist or that character? Guinan, G U I N A N. Guinan. Oh, Guinan. Guinan. What type of animal is Guinan's imaginary friend? Uh, uh. That was the episode where she's talking to the little girl that had the other imaginary friend that turned out to be real. Um, it was like an elephant thing. Fuck! You're killing me with these. <laughs> I don't know. Elephant thing? <laughs> Tarkasian Tar razor beast is the answer. Cheers. I'll do the hot sauce with you. Party. It was Fuck not, it, yeah. it, it was not, chat says it was a blumpkin. <laughs> it's not a blumpkin. All right. I'm just going to chug this. Woo! When do you, when do you expect uh, the eight songs you're working on to, to drop? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> um... We're looking at hopefully the beginning of July, to be honest. All eight of them or just like one at a time, you know, every couple Oh, of it's going to be all eight of them. All at once. It's going to go like my plan is like Sunday one drops, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Whoa. All yeah. right. So we're busy so that week. Completely oversaturated. So, so we're, we're going to be we're, fucking entirely. The show is going to be busy that week to play a different song of yours every day. Yeah, and um, as far as like our original music, you know, until we get more members and stuff like that, um, I've had to put a lot of that on kind of back. Yeah, um, I've had to put a little bit of that back, which sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. We'll just do some cover songs and have some fun with that. Fuck it. Cool. Let's try yeah. one. Let's try one more Star Trek question. Okay. Do you recall the name of O'Brien's tarantula? He had once been afraid of spiders, 
and named his tarantula. I hate you. <laughs> uh, O'Connell? I don't know. That is not correct. <laughs> Fuck! It is a Blumpkin. No, it is Christina. Christina was the name of, of the, the spider. Who the fuck names her spider Christina? I don't know. Somebody don't know in the future in the year 3000 Star Trek world. Christina the Damn. Tarantula. So yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's my job. It's yeah. my job to, to stump the guests. <laughs> right. There, I imagine there's a ton of features. You always have like crazy cool features on all your songs. Can you leak any features, but we just have no idea what song they're on? What do you mean? What features? You always have a lot of features on, on your music. My phones are on fire. Oh, like... <laughs> well, I already said Mark Williams from Acetaminophen. Uh... <laughs> A sig of it and vegan a sig of it. Um, well, we are working with Encircled Throne. Hell yeah. Elizabeth Weaver is coming back. She's kind of become part of Team The Rock now. Um, and. Vokes and Sticks coming back? Yes. All right, cool. Christina is coming back for Excellent. a. One that is going to make the one that started this whole idea, the one song, and it's a Dolly Parton song. Really? Yep. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Ah, fuck it, I'll say it. Jolene. Oh, okay, cool. They're probably her most popular song. Cover of Jolene. That's one of her most um, popular ones. Yeah, we're gonna, um, my plan is to keep it like true to its essence and keep that, um, you know, that's the one that Mark Williams is working on us, working with. But is it like um, a metal version of it? Yeah, but also having that twang in the background at the same time. Cool. And, you know, it's got the clean vocals. It's going to have underlying uh, demonic kind of growls at some point. But it's keeping the essence of Dolly Parton at the same time. Oh. It's weird. I know. But for some reason, it's working. Yeah, weird is cool. <laughs> weird is cool. It's, it's in right. Yeah. Weird is in. Uh... Is there is there anything that we did not discuss today that you that you would like to mention and or now would be a moment to plug and promote any any links or anything that you want to just rattle off? Um, honestly, not yet. Uh, I mean, we were hoping to have merch out by this month, but again, it got delayed. Again, um, why not? Why not go per order where you don't have to put any money down? Well, like. Uh, so like there's a bunch of websites where you can just upload all your all your PNG graphics, whatever, and then now you have a website with all your merch, but you never paid a dollar. Except for like the website fee. And then and then bam, as your fans want it, they just go on the website, order it, and you never have to have it in house and pay an upfront cost. Oh no shit, I didn't think of that. I'll text you. you have to text. I'll text okay. you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that was an yeah, yeah, no, it's totally it's totally an option. Um yeah, I'll, I'll 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 message you and and we'll help you set it up for sure. Sweet. Plug plug all your uh, social media links so people know where to follow if they're unfamiliar with you. Yeah, um, you can find us on Narok TikTok, almost said Twitter. Um, Narok official uh, Instagram. We're on Threads. Narok. Uh, you can use the N A E R O K. Um, Facebook, Instagram. That's really it. Mojo is also hey. saying that he could he could push it on on his website if if need be. Yeah, I actually um, stumbled upon his website the other day, and I saw that he had some of the videos and pictures. And I'm like, oh, that's cool as fuck. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, this has been fun. I, I appreciate you jumping in and and doing the catch up with us. Eight songs coming soon, all within eight days of the week. That is amazing. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of work. To Oversaturation. No, oh, that's cool. The Spotify should go through the roof because of it, I would imagine. Fingers are, yeah, hoping. And some Fingers Dolly crossed. Parton Jolene, but a metal version. That's going to be fun. Hell yeah. 
Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I'll I'll bounce ahead, too, edit this uh, later tonight. I'll send it over to you so you have we have some ammo to drop uh, tomorrow morning regarding the interview. But have a most blessed day, ladies and gentlemen. The Rock. Give me a hell yeah. Ah! <laughs>